Hey everybody, Ian here. Uh, so welcome to day 10 of the Why and Advent calendar, uh, December 10th. Um, I hope everyone is having a delightful time watching these. As good of a time as I am drinking all this wine. Even the bad wines. At the end of the day, it's you know five minutes after I've drank it and the taste buds don't remember the taste of it anymore. I'm still, you know, kind of intoxicated, so it's nice. Anyway, like I said, welcome to day 10. Let's just get down to the wine. Um, I am down to my... Oh, it's a... Uh, Oh, that's cute. It's a little candle. Um, oh, and I, I did not tear the little number off the token this time. Um, it's a cute little candle. Hopefully this is not inspired by, like, Schindler's List. Because that would be a depressing um, foray into the world of, of Christmas wine. Anyway, uh, let's, get, let's do it. Let's, okay, it's a white wine. Oh, it's called The Fall. Um, it's a Riesling, Riesling from the Yakima, Yakima Valley in Washington. Um, I like this. Uh, let me look at this. Interesting. Okay, so when it says The Fall, it does not mean like the autumn. There's a picture of, there's three guys by a cliff. One of them is standing on the ground and one of them is falling, being caught by the other guy. One of them has lost his hat. I'm not sure if it's the guy catching or the guy falling that lost his hat. But anyway, let's just, let's have this wine. It's hard to open. Oh, and it's, it's like, I don't know if you can see this. It is filled all the way to like the very top. It's filled up to like here. They're usually, usually up to like there. It, it's like, very, very full. Watch this be like the worst wine of all of them. And I have to bear, you know, have slightly more of it. That's like the, um, the 2016 election. The whole 2016 election campaign was just awful. It was just unbearable from start to finish. And it was also, the election is always the first Tuesday after a Monday in November. So it can't be November 1st, but if it if November 1st is Monday, the election can't be November 2nd. But so it was November 8th, 2016. And so it, it was, that's the latest the election can possibly be because that the November 1st was a Tuesday in in 2016. And so that it was just it you know, it was just an extra week of this election campaign that that was like, "Oh my god, just just please end for the love of God. Anyway, I've oh, got to give this my, my little my swirl. I think I'm I think I'm acing that. Oh, that's actually pretty good. It's kind of like um, crisp almost. It tastes it tastes like appley. It it's kind of like it it gives me vibes of like apple juice. This is definitely a nice. Um, even though it's called the fall, this would be nice for like a, a nice spring day. Although since it is kind of apple I could see myself drinking this in lieu of apple cider. Um, you know, on a, a nice October day while I wear my sweater and, and, and pet my fluffy white cat. Um, and, you know, pine for the fjords. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is good. I like this. this. This is one of the better wines I've had, one of the better white wines I've had. Not above a 4.0, but I think it would be like a 3.9. I'll drink the rest of it though, but there's some more of it. But yeah, this is good. At, at first contact with my tongue, I don't like the taste, but then the aftertaste is really good. I feel like usually aftertaste of stuff is bad. It has a bad aftertaste, but this is, this is good. Uh, it gets better as, you're, as it moves from the front of your mouth to the back of your mouth. And then, you know, slides down your gullet. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Let's try it with the, um, the Gouda. I'm going to look at this label again. This is very, this is a good drawing. I'd like to know who does the, oh, this, and this is only, it was bottled in 2019, um, but it's only 11.3% alcohol. I think that's the lowest percent of any of them so far of the of the 10 i've had so far 
Um, I'm almost halfway through this. There's 24, right? Okay, yeah, 24. Um, and yeah, I'm on number 10. So in, in three days, I will be over halfway through this. Uh, and actually in three days, that'll be 13 is my lucky number. And so day 13, I'm really hoping it's good. I, I hope 13 isn't like the worst of the wine that'll make me question my allegiance to the number 13. Although I'm not going to, my lucky number won't become anything else. Oh, I need to try it with the cheese. Um, the Gouda. This is my last piece of Baby Bell Gouda. I need to go get, I really like that white cheddar cheese. I like white cheddar stuff in general. Um, but so I, I'm going to go, I'll probably get more of that and the original and maybe some of the Gouda. Who knows? Um, I need to get that dark chocolate I was talking about too. I was eating some pepperoni slices last night and I thought, oh, this would be a good idea to, to consume with my wine. I need to start making like a little plate of, of wine friendly treats, maybe some grapes, I guess. Although I'm already getting my grapes through the wine. Does wine count as a serving of fruit? since it comes from grapes? I'm just going to say yes. And if it, if it, the answer is no, just don't tell me. Um, oh, Santa. Oh, sailboat. Mm, I love cheese. Oh, those are good together. Those are those are really good together. Um, I only grade on the wine alone, but if 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 the taste of the cheese plus the wine alone was the wine, this would be like a this would be like a four point five. The Gouda is really good with what's it called? The fall. Yeah, it's. R-I-E-S-L-I-N-G. I don't know if that's Riesling or Riesling from the Yakima Valley or Yakima Valley in Washington. This is a good wine. This is a very good wine, very much enhanced by Gouda cheese specifically, possibly by other cheeses, likely through other cheeses. Oh, some of my cheese fell off the thing. Once again, five second rule. But yeah, this is good. This is very good. Um... Yeah, wow. Oh my gosh, wow. That's like shockingly good. The fact that it's so good with the... I know I said the wine alone would be like a 3.9, but the fact that it's so good with the cheese makes me want to give it like a 4.1. I think I'll just give it a 4.0. A 4.0 out of 5. That seems fair. Because um, this is... Yeah, wow. This is like... This is the best combination of wine and cheese I've had in the my week and a half of doing this. Oh, and I only have have less than three weeks left. Or no, I have two weeks left. So, well, so either way, it is less than three weeks. But um, but yeah, anyway, doing the last little... I started wearing my Apple Watch again. I made the face this little... Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's like pride colors... Uh, which is cute. It's festive. I used to have it set to, um, scroll through all my, the watch faces I have. Um, oh, interesting. Kaleidoscope. Mickey Mouse. Used to have it set to this thing. Uh, yes, and I, I have done zero minutes of exercise today and burned 139 calories just by basically standing around my apartment. Um, wow. But anyway, I think if you, the Mickey Mouse one, if you turn it off silent, my watch is always on silent, but then tap it, it'll sit. <laughs> anyway, Apple watches are cute. My mom just got one yesterday, um, and it made me want to put mine back on. This kaleidoscope one is cool. I hadn't really 
noticed it, but it's eh. Ugh. That's fun. Anyway, uh, yeah, my mom just got one yesterday, and, and it got me in the mood to wear mine again. I, ha I hadn't worn it in uh, probably since, like, January. It's almost a year. Um, wow, January's a year ago. January seems crazy to think about. It's, you know, we had no idea what was coming this year. January was when Trump got impeached, and that seems like a different, a whole different year. And Australia was, like, on fire in January, and, and like, Kobe Bryant died, I think, in the last week of January, maybe first week of February. And those things literally seem like separate lifetimes ago. This is crazy. This whole year has been insane. Um, anyway, thank you for watching me. Uh, I will see you tomorrow on day 11. Uh, anyway, have a great night. Thank you for watching. Bye.